The fighter jet, the F-A-18 Super Hornet, has long been crucial for the U.S. air defense and its allies. As it is aged, some countries wanted to replace it in their fleets. However, Boeing didn't let it happen. In the context of geopolitical tensions reaching the peak, Boeing seizes the opportunity to implement significant upgrades to the F-A-18 Super Hornet, promising that will change the entire military industry. Why is it crucial, and how does it change entire the military industry? Let's find out in today's episode. The F-A-18 Hornet is an American twin-engine fighter aircraft designed for carrier-based operations and capable of achieving supersonic speeds. It offers advanced multi-role capabilities, providing commanders greater flexibility in deploying tactical aircraft in various dynamic combat scenarios. The Hornet can undertake multiple roles, including escort missions, fleet defense, strike operations, and deep air support during complex aerial campaigns. Before diving into why nations are showing interest in acquiring the newer F-A-18 Super Hornet variants, let's go back to the period of its history. The Super Hornet is an upgraded version of the original F-A-18 Hornet, produced by McDonnell Douglas and Northrop for about 23 years, starting in 1974 and introduced in January 1983. Boeing took over production of the F-A-18 Hornet in 1997 following its merger with McDonnell Douglas. The Hornet represented a breakthrough in several aspects. It was the first aircraft designed to perform both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions effectively. Additionally, it was among the pioneers in employing digital fly-by-wire flight controls and incorporating carbon fiber wings, an innovation seen for the first time in combat aircraft. The F-A-18 Hornet traces its roots back to the Northrop YF-17, a prototype that the U.S. Navy aimed to develop into a versatile multi-role fighter to complement the Grumman F-14 Tomcat, which primarily served as an air superiority and fleet defense interceptor. By 1989, however, its technology had become outdated, leading to a reduced number of orders and its eventual production halt in 1991. This shift in focus resulted in the Navy turning its attention to a redesigned version of the F-A-18 Hornet in 1992. This updated variant, known as the Super Hornet, received its first production order from the U.S. Navy. Despite incorporating numerous improvements, the Super Hornet retained several similarities to the original Hornet in terms of avionics, radar systems, weaponry, and maintenance procedures. The Super Hornet made its maiden flight on November 19, 1995, but it wasn't until February 2000 that the U.S. Navy formally approved the F-A-18 following extensive testing and evaluation. Having reviewed its historical background, we now have a clearer understanding of how it came into existence. Let's delve into its capabilities to evaluate its true potential. As an upgraded version of the original F-A-18 Hornet, this aircraft brings significant enhancements which are evident in its technical specifications. Like its predecessor, the Super Hornet is available in two variants. The F-A-18E has a single-seat configuration, and the F-A-18F is a dual-seat version that includes an additional seat for the weapon systems officer. Firstly, the Super Hornet boasts a 42% reduction in structural components compared to its predecessor. It measures approximately 60 feet in length, stands 16 feet tall, and has a wingspan of nearly 45 feet. The maximum takeoff weight is around 30 tons, powered by two General Electric F-4 or 14-400 jet engines, which provide a dry thrust of 58 kilonewtons and an afterburner thrust of 98 kilonewtons. In terms of performance, it is quite swift achieving a maximum speed of about Mach 1.6 comma, or nearly 1,200 miles per hour at an altitude of 40,000 feet. However, its combat range is somewhat limited at approximately 1,275 nautical miles, with a ferry range of about 1,800 nautical miles. The combat range can decrease to around a quarter of the ferry range, varying from 444 to 489 nautical miles, depending on the number of fuel tanks or the type of mission. Secondly, in comparison to its competitors, the F-A-18 Super Hornet stands out due to its versatile weapon system and payload capacity. The aircraft is equipped with an M61A2 Vulcan cannon capable of holding 412 rounds and boasts 11 hardpoints, allowing it to carry a total payload exceeding 8 tons. This extensive loadout enables it to deploy a wide array of munitions ranging from air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles to anti-ship missiles, cluster bombs, laser-guided bombs, naval mines, 
and advanced countermeasure systems like the AN ASCA 228 at FLIR targeting pod. Mentioning its competitor, while the F-35 has fewer hardpoints and relies more on its stealth capabilities and advanced sensor fusion to minimize the need for heavy armament, the Super Hornet's large payload and variety of configurations offer greater operational flexibility. It can be equipped to handle multiple mission profiles simultaneously, making it a more adaptable choice for scenarios requiring a robust and diverse strike capability. Additionally, the external load carrying capacity of the Super Hornet, although compromising some stealth features, allows it to engage in a broader range of missions with less reliance on internal payload limits. This makes it especially effective in situations where raw firepower and multi-role versatility are prioritized over stealth. Thirdly, the Super Hornet is equipped with advanced radar systems like the Hughes APG-73 or the AN APG-79 ASA, along with the ALR-67 V3 radar warning receiver, enhancing its detection and engagement range significantly. This gives it an edge over other fourth generation fighters and allows it to compete with some of the capabilities offered by the F-35. Unlike the F-35, which struggles with high maintenance costs, it incorporates these upgrades without substantially increasing its upkeep expenses. The Block II upgrades not only introduced a stronger radar, but also significantly enhanced its avionics and display systems, allowing pilots to efficiently manage complex multi-role missions. What makes the Super Hornet stand out is its optimized combat performance and flexibility across various combat scenarios, whereas the F-35 primarily focuses on stealth and electronic warfare. As mentioned, with 11 weapon stations and a payload capacity of over 8 tons, the FA-18 can carry a wide array of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground munitions, and laser-guided bombs, capabilities that only certain F-35 variants can achieve. The combination of robust combat features, flexible upgrade paths, and cost efficiency has allowed the Super Hornet to remain a formidable option even when faced with stealthier rivals like the F-35. In addition, according to Boeing, the Super Hornet stands out from other fourth-generation fighters due to its advanced features, including a new auxiliary processor and modern touchscreen displays in the cockpit. These enhancements allow pilots to execute missions more effectively, improving situational awareness. The upgraded aircraft are expected to add 4,000 flight hours to their operational lifespan, bringing the total to around 10,000 hours, almost double that of comparable aircraft. Additionally, they will have increased fuel capacity compared to previous models and a reduced radar cross-section, enhancing stealth capabilities. The Super Hornet has established itself as a critical asset in global airspace defense, and its importance is expected to grow in light of increasing threats. This trend may lead several nations to consider adding the F-A-18 to their military fleets in the future. Designed for seamless integration with emerging systems and technologies, the aircraft is continuously upgraded by Boeing. These enhancements are categorized into various blocks. The latest upgrade, known as Block 3, began deliveries in 2021 under a contract that includes 78 aircraft. These advancements have prompted defense ministries worldwide to seek additional purchases or maintain their existing Super Hornet fleets to enhance combat capabilities and extend operational lifespan. Despite the significant advancements made with the Block 3 upgrades of the Super Hornet, it continues to encounter potential threats from emerging rivals such as China's J-20 Mighty Dragon, a stealth fighter developed for the People's Liberation Army Air Force. The J-20 symbolizes China's growing military capabilities, especially amid escalating tensions with the United States. Reports indicate that China aims to produce 120 J-20 aircraft this year, matching the production numbers of the F-35. The J-20 is positioned as an air superiority fighter with precision strike capabilities, allowing it to compete with aircraft like the F-35 Lightning and F-22 Raptor. Boeing initially planned to continue producing the Super Hornet until 2030, but later decided to halt production in 2025 after completing deliveries. Despite this, the aircraft is expected to remain operational at least until the mid to 2030. S. Boeing is now shifting focus to developing the next generation FAXX fighter for anti-access area denial operations and enhancing the F-15EX, attracting interest from countries like Indonesia and Israel, as well as orders from the U.S. Air Force. The Block of Three upgrades have significantly impacted the Super Hornet's longevity, with the aircraft currently serving in the U.S. Air Force and several other nations, including Kuwait, Canada, 
Finland, Malaysia, Switzerland, Spain, and the Royal Australian Air Force. Australia has expressed uncertainty about its F-35 Lightning Orders, opting instead to continue operating the F-18 until at least the mid-2030s while eagerly awaiting the Block 3 upgrades. The F-35 was expected to be a major competitor for the Super Hornet, but his program has faced challenges due to prolonged software upgrade issues, leading to delays and reduced production rates. The Pentagon has stated it will not accept new F-35 aircraft until these issues are fully resolved, further complicating the situation for this competitor. The F-A-18 has played a crucial role in global airspace protection, and this role is expected to become increasingly significant amid rising threats to globalization. It remains a core component of naval air combat forces, not only for the United States, but also for eight other nations operating this aircraft throughout the 21st century. With the enhancements provided by the Block 3 upgrades, many countries may consider joining the ranks of F-A-18 operators. However, the decision to upgrade to the newer Super Hornet or to wait for more advanced fighter aircraft depends on various factors, including defense priorities, budget constraints, and each nation's strategic assessments.